Hi, I'm going to speak about Turbinicarpus schmidicianus subspecies Clickerianus. This subspecies has quite some variation according to the origin of the of the plants. Several local names given uh, as, as the let's say here I have the the form of Las Flores. Spines are let's say a little bit thinner and shorter than the other one that's called uh, Lilinquidus. It's not a correct name. As you can see here, these spines are a bit thicker, have a blackish tips on the grey papery spines. Very nice plants, slow growing. This plant here has been in my collection since, look, I see it was sown in 99. So it's 22 years old on its own roots, hard and dry grown. But as you can see, plants stay very compact. Spines are upstanding, one or two spines per areole, and creamy white flowers. There's a plant called uh, Pakistele in cultivation, also one of the variations within Clinkerianus. This flower is a little bit more closed than, than the one called Lilinquidis. Uh, the spines are a bit larger, a bit more twisted, but anyway, it's all considered being the same species. Also, Turbinicarpus in cultivation, it's very easy, it's self pollinating, and it's easy to get spontaneous seedlings. As you can see here in this pot, you have one spontaneous seedling. I just discovered in this pot also, I have one. So, easy plants to, to grow. Despite of what you sometimes hear, they are not short-lived, at least not in my conditions. They, as you can see, they are very underpotted. Look how the pots, the roots are deforming the pots. So they like it to be underpot, slow-growing, quite some sun, not in, not in baking full sun, they might burn. But uh, plenty of sun is, 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 is good for, uh, for sure for this uh, species. So, if you like small plants, easy flowering, with very special spines, Turbinicarpus schmidicianus in all its forms and shapes should be the perfect species for you. Thank you for listening. See you next time.